Okay. 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 In the name of Lord Jesus, come inside evening service. Let's first sing hymn 126. Self, then let us first kneel down and pray, and I was going to guide us in this service. Let's pray together. In the name of Jesus, I speak. Our beloved brothers and sisters, peace to you all. Uh, this evening, I would like to uh, share a study of the book of Deuteronomy as, with specific reference to the love of God. Generally speaking, people would consider the Old Testament to talk about the law. And often draw the conclusion that the love of God is not particularly um, apparent. Especially during the time of the Exodus generation, it seems that God's wrath is often uh, manifested towards his people. When we read Psalm 90, <coughs> in Psalm 90, we see the words of Moses, and in it he describes saying, 
consumed. Uh, that the uh, people of God have been consumed by the anger of the Lord. And uh, because of the wrath of God, they were terrified. Thus, in the Psalm of Moses, we see he describes the wrath of God. Which again points us to the conclusion to say that in the Old Testament, we see uh, the, the um, law of God, we see the wrath, wrath of God. Now, of course, for God to punish his people, then obviously he has his reasons. Then when we turn to Deuteronomy, now, when we come to Deuteronomy, we see that Moses seemingly just uh, repeats again about the things concerning the law. Because the first generation that exited Egypt, uh, the Exodus generation, they had already passed away. And since in that meantime another generation had arisen, then Moses or fit to uh, or God saw fit for the people to hear these things again. Now one of the <coughs> core themes within this book is actually the love of God. Thus, we can see the love of God actually is multifaceted. Now, this evening, from this evening, we'll start to look into uh, the love of God as manifested towards His chosen people. Now the thing is that herein there is a realistic issue that has risen, which is the question of, well, God loves His people, but are His people able to actually feel His love? If we say that we know we uh, that God loves us, that is to say that we are able to experience for ourselves the love of God towards us. And of our as those who believe in the Lord, and then we are very clear on the heart that we have towards God. Knowing that all that God has instructed, all that He has taught <coughs> us is for our own benefit. Now, when we understand <coughs> the love that God has for us, then of course we can be more positive or proactive in our conducts. So, in this book, the Bible is a book of now, thus, from Deuteronomy, we can see Moses, in like manner, uh, goes forth to instruct the people. That with their whole heart and strength, they need to uh, love the God. Now, this is bi directional. If we want God to love us, then very naturally we must first understand what works God has done for us. Having understood what God has done for us, then out of this understanding, we have that love to show our love to God in our actions. And in this way, our relationship with God will be maintained. And that's why when we read this we find that part of the core of Deuteronomy is lies in this aspect. Now, even though, of course, there are many places in Deuteronomy that talk about the law, but the purpose of which is to actually remind them that for God to instruct them and command them in this way is for their benefit. And hence, understanding these requirements, these teachings, then they need to actually love God with all their hearts and minds. Therefore, this evening, we'll just have a look at a few examples um, regarding the love of God. Let's turn to Deuteronomy chapter 4. (coughs) 
。我哋先嚟睇呢個三十六節，做三十七節啊。Deuteronomy chapter four verse thirty six to verse thirty seven。啊，三篇记嘅四章三十六节到三十七节。Deuteronomy four thirty six to verse thirty seven。啊，他从天上啊，使你听见他的声音，为要教训你；又在地上使你看见他的烈火，又便听见他从火中火中所说的话。Verse thirty-seven, thirty-six. Out of heaven he let you hear his voice, that he might instruct you. On earth he showed you his great fire, and you heard his words out of the midst of the fire. Ah, 咁呢个三十六节咧系系提到呢个啊西奈山啊嘅事情。Now verse thirty-six is actually in reference to what happened um at Mount Sinai. 佢神啊颁布呢个律法之前，呢个十诫之前。That just before the time when God、um, handed down the Ten Commandments to the people, 神在呢个火中嚟向呢个百姓嚟显现。That God actually showed Himself in this great fire. 啊，所以呢个理由在边度咧 ？Now what is the purpose of this such an act? 啊，咁我哋睇三十七节啊，就能够明白啦。If we continue to read verse thirty-seven, we can understand. 因为呢代呢个系讲到佢哋嘅啊先祖就系啊出埃及嘅嗰代人啊。And here it talks about the the forefathers of the people. At that time, meaning the the generation that left、uh, Egypt. Ah, that seventy seven says. Ah, because he loved the Lord, so he gave them his commands, his laws, and gave them the Ten Commandments. Ah, because he loved the Lord, so he gave them his commands, his laws, and gave them the Ten Commandments. Ah, because he loved the Lord, so he gave them his commands, his laws, and gave them the Ten Commandments. Ah, because he loved the Lord, so he gave them his commands, his laws, and gave them the Ten Commandments. Ah, because he loved the Lord, so he gave them his commands, his laws, and gave them the Ten Commandments. Ah, because he loved the Lord, so he gave them his commands, his laws, and gave them the Ten Commandments. Ah, because he loved the Lord, so he gave them his commands, his laws, and gave them the Ten Commandments. Ah, because he loved the Lord, so he gave them his commands, his laws, and gave them the Ten Commandments. Ah, because he loved the Lord, so he gave them his commands, his laws, and gave them the Ten Commandments. Ah, because he loved the Lord, so God indeed loved the fathers of these people. Ah, 咁如果我哋推嘅话咧，就推当然系推到阿伯拉罕啊嘅第一个神所选召嘅人啊。Now on the basis of these words, if we keep working backwards through the generations, we realise God loves the people all the way even back to their forefather, even Abraham. Ah, 所以就我哋如果睇阿伯拉罕嘅例例子嗬。Now if we consider the example of Abraham, 佢之前咧都系拜偶像嘅。He was once um someone who worshipped idols. Ah, 咁神啊选。选召佢之后，佢就专心嚟敬拜呢个天上嘅真神。And after God called him, then he wholeheartedly worshipped the one true God in heaven。所以《三篇记》我哋发觉到呢个选召本身就显出神好大嘅爱。Now from in Deuteronomy we see、uh, in the reference to this shows us that for God to call a person or to choose a person in itself is already a great love。啊，因为神冇选召其他嘅人啊。Because God did not Call others. Ah, 嗰时候佢就选召做阿伯拉罕。Rather, he、uh, chose Abraham. Ah, 借助阿伯拉罕咧，就生出好多嘅子孙。And then from Abraham's line lineage, we see that there were many descendants that came forth. 所以我哋发觉到呢个神嘅爱系啊不断嘅啊延续到啊啊啊世世代代。And from this, we're able to see that from one generation to the next, from generation to generation, the the love of God continues to wane. 啊，但系好可惜，我喺教育当中咧，啊嗰啲选民佢冇办法了解到。Unfortunately, during that time and age, the people of God were not able to fully understand this. Ah, so when we read the book of Malachi, there are people who start to ask, "Where am I to love you?" That's why when you come to the book of Malachi, it is even recorded that people were asking the question, "God, in what way have you loved us?" Ah, so God is again speaking about the choosing of this thing. So what did God do but to actually、um, repeat、uh, the things that happened in the past? Ah, so if we want to understand God's love, therefore, if we want to understand the Love of God. 首先，我哋要从呢个拣选当中，就神点嚟选召我哋呢件事情嚟了解。Firstly, we need to understand the love of God initially from the perspective of His choosing of us, His calling of us. 啊，呢个呢个去了解唔单止我哋要去读，我去明白圣经啊。To understand is not merely just to read and understand the Bible alone. 系，其实我哋要感受到呢个神对我哋嘅爱。In fact, we have to go further to really un、uh, to experience the love of God for us in this way. 咁我哋。點來去感受到咧 ？Now how can we enable ourselves to experience it？ 啊，其實好多時候我哋愛去思想呢件呢件事情。Oftentimes what we need to do is to ponder upon this matter。啊，我哋知道神嘅話係好奇妙。We know the word of God is very wonderful。啊，當我哋去思想嘅時候。In that, when we meditate upon it, ah, 咁保罗有讲过 ，as Paul has mentioned himself, ah, 咁因为我哋所做系对嘅。
Because what we are are doing is right. Uh, 我哋所谂嘅系啱嘅。Well, what we are thinking is correct. 啊，咁神就在我哋嘅心中嚟运行。Therefore, God is working within our hearts. 啊，咁我哋就对神嘅呢个爱咧更加嘅深刻。And what that means, sorry, what that means in turn is that we will have an even deeper understanding of the love of God. We will be able to grasp it better. 啊，因为好多时候我哋冇咁嘅时间或者咁嘅啊呢个啊了解嚟去思考啊神嘅拣选。But often the issue lies in that we don't. Have that kind of time, or we don't actually,、uh, we haven't spent that time to ponder upon and to think about that love of God. So, we need to do this God's election. This thing, this thing, is getting more and more, like a blurring, a blurring. The result being that it's almost as though we become unfamiliar with the choosing of God, the calling of God. If we come back to the two verses we read in Deuteronomy four, now why is it that God God spoke to the people out of the midst of the fire. Ah, 其实有个好重要嘅理由。There is a very important reason. Ah, 就系嚟教训佢哋。To teach them. Ah, 呢个系神嘅用意。This was the intention of God. Ah, 点解神去教训佢哋，去教导佢哋 ？Why is it that God wanted to instruct them and to teach them at this time? 就系咧，希望佢哋能够走在呢个正路上，唔好离开神。In the hope that they would walk upon the correct path and they would not depart from God. Ah, so from this, you can see that God is showing His great love towards His people, towards the chosen people. From this action, God is actually showing His great love towards His people, towards the chosen people. So from God's teaching, this thing is showing His great love towards His people, towards the chosen people. From this action, God is actually showing His great love towards His people, towards the chosen people. From this action, God is actually showing His great love towards His chosen people. From this action, God is actually showing His great love towards His people, towards the chosen people. From this action, God is actually showing His great love towards His people, towards the chosen people. From this action, God is actually Uh, sometimes we may observe those who are who have young families. Ah, 我哋發覺到咧，佢佢做父母嘅就不斷嘅嚟教導呢個年少嘅。Ah, those who are parents continually teach the young ones in the family. Ah, 點解咁啊？當然，小朋友可能覺得咁婆婆媽媽嘅次次都講咁多。Uh, maybe the children will get a bit fed up of listening. It's like why, why do you keep sort of、um, nagging at me saying these things? 但係我相信咧，每個父母咁做嘅時候，就係因為嘅愛自己嘅仔女嘛。But I am sure the fact that when the parents do this, it is because of their love for their children. 啊，點解教到佢哋啊啊做呢件事情啊點做啊啊咁啊幾時瞓覺啊點解愛愛愛啊？咁嚟吩咐啲小朋友。Why is it they would instruct their children or teach them that when you are dealing with such a matter, you should do it like this, or or what time you should sleep, and other things like that? Why is it they instruct in this way? 其實都係父母嘅愛嘛。It is the the love of the parents. 啊，所以就俾小朋友知道咧，佢生活上啊有啲事情佢必須要注啊注意好嘅。啊 ，to let the, their children know that there are certain things in life that they really need to pay particular attention to. 啊，咁不斷嚟教導呢個小朋友，最少使到佢哋咧，在生活中有嗰個呢個。Okay. Um. So, uh, yeah. So to to teach the children in this way, continually instruct them in this way, is so that they will have a, a have kind of the、uh, kind of ways to govern themselves in life. Ah, discipline. Ah, discipline in life. Thank you. Ah, ah. So this is parents' love for their children. Uh, therefore, this we can we understand is the the love of the parents towards the children. Ah, 小朋友细嘅时候，佢可能唔了解。Now, when our children are young, maybe they don't understand. 啊，其实咁可能觉得咧，父母好好好严啊，嗬，次次都约束佢哋。To the point that the children may even feel that it's like their parents are being very strict, almost um kind of uh binding them by all these different instructions. 啊，所以我哋从生命嘅发觉到呢个神对百姓嘅呢个用心。Therefore, we can see the heart of God and how much He tries for the sake of His people. Ah, because God wants for His people to walk on the correct path. Ah, so He uses different ways to teach His people. Ah, so He uses different ways to teach His people. Ah, so He uses different ways to teach His people. Ah, so He uses different ways to teach His people. Ah, so He uses different ways to teach His people. Ah, so He uses different ways to teach His people. Ah, so He uses different ways to teach His people. Ah, so He uses different ways to teach His people. Ah, so He uses different ways to teach His people. Ah, so He uses different ways to teach His people. Ah, so He uses different ways to teach His people. Ah, so He uses different ways to teach His people. Ah, so He uses different ways to teach His people. Ah, so He uses different ways to teach His people. Ah, so He uses different ways to teach His people. Ah, so He uses different ways to teach His people. Ah, so He uses different ways to teach His people. Ah, so He uses different ways to teach His people. Ah, so He uses different ways to teach His people. Ah, so He uses different ways to teach His people. Ah, so He uses different ways to teach His people. Ah, so He uses different ways to teach His people. Ah, so He uses different ways to teach His people. Ah, so He uses different ways to teach His people Of course, for him to do such things, to teach them and instruct them, is out of love. Ah, 我哋今日都系神嘅啊儿女，因为借助耶稣嘅宝血，我哋得到呢个拯救。Today, through the blood of Jesus, having saved us, we too have become the children of God. 所以我哋好多时候都听到神嘅呢个教导。Often we have heard the instructions of God to us. 想神咧借助唔同嘅工人、唔同嘅呢个诶童工啊嚟教导我哋啦。I 
it's often the case that God perhaps is uh, teaching us, guiding us through the the mouths of various workers and brothers and sisters. Ah, so if we want to. 誒以一個正誒正面嘅態度嚟去睇呢件事情。Now if we view such matters from a more positive perspective， 啊，其實我哋應該感謝神嘅。What we should do in fact is to thank God。啊，因為我哋係神嘅。係子民，所以神希望我哋走在呢個正路上。We are the people of God, and as a result, God hopes for us to walk on the correct path. 其實呢個係神對我哋好大嘅愛。This is a great love that God has shown towards us. 就好似我哋做父母對我哋仔仔女一樣啊，愛佢，希望佢哋能夠走在呢個正路上。Just um, just like we mentioned as parents, how we love our own children, and we hope for them to always be able to walk on the correct path. 所以從生命記我哋就睇到呢個神嘅呢、這個。That's why from Deuteronomy we are able to see the love of God towards His people manifested here. Ah, 刚才我哋讲到呢个选召，嗬。Just now we we talked about the calling of His people. 如果我哋睇呢个三十四节呢时候 ，In the same chapter, if we read verse thirty-four. 啊，咁神所做出嘅选召嘅呢个方法咧，从来冇人做过噶。Now for God to choose. Um, some people in this way was something that had never been done before. So in verse 34, it almost starts to question. Uh,神何情从别的国中将一国的人人民领出来，用试验神迹奇事增进大能的手和伸出来的膀膀臂，并大号。但可为的事，上耶和华你们的神在埃及，在你们眼前为你们所行的一切事呢 ？Verse thirty-four. Or did God ever try to go and take for Himself a nation from the midst of another nation by trials, by signs, by wonders, by war, by a mighty hand and an outstretched arm, and by great and by great terrors, according to all that the Lord your God did for you in Egypt before your eyes? 啊，所以一个问题问呢个三个一代。Now this question is posed to the new generation. 啊，当然从来神都冇咁做过。Um, and of course, God has never done something like this before. So it's a very special thing. God's selection is very special. So for God to choose people, call people in this way, is a very special thing indeed. He has already chosen these people. Since he has already seen fit to call these people, of course, God loves them and protects them. So we have to keep on calling them. And we have to keep on calling them. And we have to keep on calling them. And we have to keep on calling them. To do so, he continues to instruct them. So, in the same way, we find that God treats us in the same way. If we think about our choice of following the Lord, we can see that God has a very special way with us. Now, the Lord has a very special way with us. Now, the Lord has a very special way with us. Now, the Lord has a very special way with us. Now, the Lord has a very special way with us. Now, the Lord has a very special way with us. Now, the Lord has a very special way with us. Now, the Lord has a very special way with us. Now, the Lord has a very special way with us. Now, the Lord has a very special way with us. Now, the Lord has a very special way with us. Now, the Lord has a very special way with us. Now, the Lord has a very special way with us. Now, the Lord has a very special way with us. Now, the Lord has a very special way with us. Now, the Lord has a very special way with us. Now, the Lord has a very special way with us. Now, the Lord has a very special way with us. Now, the Lord has a very special way with us. To be able to come to believe in the Lord, to be added into His church, is a very wonderful and miraculous work of God. Ah, 神已经做咗呢个大嘅工作。God has already done this great work. Ah, 所以佢希望我哋能够保守啊啊，在佢嘅呢个啊啊教会当中，神嘅爱族。And he hopes that we will be able to remain preserved within His church, within this grace. 所以佢常常用嘅几个话语嚟教导我哋。So what does he do but to continue to use His words to teach us? Ah, 就好似佢借着摩西同埋其他嘅先知。誒常常用誒誒神嘅話嚟教導神嘅子民一樣。Just as how he utilised Moses and other prophets in the Bible to actually teach his people。啊，其實呢件事情咧，在第七章咧有重複嘅，有講到。In fact, there's another reference to this particular matter in chapter seven。啊，咁我哋嚟睇呢個誒第七章。Let's turn to Deuteronomy chapter seven。啊，第七章。Chapter seven。啊，咁我哋先嚟睇大陸第七節。Chapter seven, let's firstly read verse six and verse seven. 啊，啊，大陸節。Verse six. 啊，呢度講啊，呢啲百姓咧係歸耶和華嘅為為聖嘅聖潔嘅物。Uh, here it says that you are a holy people to the Lord your God. That they were chosen by the Lord God. Um, a people for himself. And if we keep reading verse 7, 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 
专专心喺爱嘅嚟嘅，专爱。Meaning that God totally, uh, yeah, he he only loves them. 啊，就就冇爱其他嘅，就爱呢啲人。He loves no other, rather he sets his love on this people. 啊，所以呢个叫中文就翻为专爱啊，专。To having set his 专一嘅爱。He set this love or devoted this love to the people. Ah, so here, actually, it's very clear. Ah, this blessing is actually God's love for His people. Ah, this blessing is actually God's love for His people. Ah, this blessing is actually God's love for His people. Ah, this blessing is actually God's love for His people. Ah, this blessing is actually God's love for His people. Ah, this blessing is actually God's love for His people. Ah, this blessing is actually God's love for His people. Ah, this blessing is actually God's love for His people. Ah, this blessing is actually God's love for His people. Ah, this blessing is actually God's love for His people. Ah, this blessing is actually God's love for His people. Ah, this blessing is actually God's love for His people. Ah, this blessing is actually God's love for His people. Ah, this blessing is actually God's love for His people. Ah, this blessing is actually God's love for His people. Ah, this blessing is actually God's love for His people. Ah, this blessing is actually God's love for His people. Ah, this blessing is actually God's love Ah, come, Sun, Xuan, Zhu, get it. The time. Now, when God chose these people, ah, 未因为嘅人数好多 was not because they were many in number. Ah, 其实系佢哋系最少嘅 In fact, they were the least of all. Ah, 但系因为神爱佢哋嘅呢个啊啊啊祖先 But because God loved their forefather, ah, 同佢哋起咗誓 and had made an oath with their forefather, 所以就拯拯救咧佢哋从埃及嚟出嚟啦 Therefore, they were ah saved or delivered from Egypt. Ah, 所以呢件事情又再讲一次 So here we see this、uh, this event is repeated again. Ah, 其实俾百姓知道神对佢哋爱系专一嘅，系冇改变嘅。It is in fact to let his people know that this love is a devoted and committed love that has been set on his people. Ah, 所以我哋如果能够谂到啊呢个神对我哋呢个专一嘅爱。Now if we can ponder upon, bring to mind this devoted love. Ah, 我哋一定好感激神。Then surely we will be very thankful to God. 所以呢个问题就讲我哋。能夠體驗得到麼 ？Now the issue then arises, saying, can we experience this? Can we feel this? 啊，我哋有冇感覺到神對我哋嘅愛係專一嘅，唔改變嘅 ？Can we feel that God has indeed set His love upon us, this committed love to us, and it has never changed? 啊，我常常咁諗，如果我哋每個人都能夠感覺得到 ，I often think about this myself to say that, well, if each and every one of us is able to think about this and feel this for ourselves, 我諗咧冇人有諗到去離開教會。I don't think anybody would think of leaving the church. Ah, because God is just that good to us. Ah, why do we leave the church? Ah, why should we think of leaving the church? Ah, why should we think of leaving the church? Ah, why should we think of leaving the church? Ah, why should we think of leaving the church? Ah, why should we think of leaving the church? Ah, why should we think of leaving the church? Ah, why should we think of leaving the church? Ah, why should we think of leaving the church? Ah, why should we think of leaving the church? Ah, why should we think of leaving the church? Ah, why should we think of leaving the church? Ah, why should we think of leaving the church? Ah, why should we think of leaving the church? Ah, why should we think of leaving the church? Ah, why should we think of leaving the church? Ah, why should we think of leaving the church? Ah, why should we think of leaving the church? Ah, why should we think of leaving the church? Ah, why should we think of leaving the church? Ah, why should we think of leaving the church? Ah, This particular verse with you. Ah, 我哋嚟睇呢個以賽亞書。Ah, if we turn to the book of Isaiah. Ah, 我哋睇五十一章。Turn to the the book of Isaiah, chapter fifty one. Ah, 我哋如果睇呢個十六節，嗬。Verse sixteen. Ah, 呢度係講到神啊，係借著佢嘅手來啊，再定呢個諸天啊，立定呢個地基。Ah, in verse chapter fifty one, verse sixteen. Um, God says how He's covered. Covers you with the shadow of his hand, that he may plant the heavens and lay the foundations of the earth. 就讲呢个，呃，呃，神啊，创造啊，呢个，呃，呢个宇宙万物。Here, in reference to God creating the universe and all that is in it. 啊，但系佢嘅目，佢嘅呢个焦点系摆在边度咧 ？But in in this passage, in this verse, where is the focal point? 啊，就石安啊，就神嘅百姓。The focal point is upon Zion, is upon the people of God. 所以佢同石安讲，你系我嘅百姓。So after having done these things, he says to his says to Zion, "You are my people." Ah, this love is very special. It is a election love. This love of God is a love of election. Ah, so we should not forget this kind of love. Ah, sometimes we forget. Therefore, we should not forget this kind of love. Ah, sometimes we forget. 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 Ah, sometimes
But we know that the people did not do this. Even though the, the Exodus generation had indeed physically departed from Egypt, yet their hearts had not departed from the land of idols. So during the time of Moses being on the mountain, when they saw that he had not descended for many days, then they had supposed that he must already be dead. And that's why we see that they go on to say, well, let's make for ourselves a God. And let's say that this God is the God who died, uh, who, um, who led us out of Egypt, uh, which is the, the incident of the golden calf, as we know. We know that in their hearts, even in their hearts, they had not removed these idols. The result being that they were not able to fully feel for themselves the love that God had set upon them. So today we need to ask ourselves. The Bible tells us this. That God loves us. And His love is a devoted and committed love to us. Why is it we cannot feel it? Sometimes it feels almost as though God's love, God Himself, is very far away. Now, according to what we can learn in Deuteronomy, it is because in our hearts there must still be idols. Because God is faithful in loving of us, but we are not faithful towards our God. And with this kind of relationship in play, then of course that is a bit unnatural, it is a bit strange. And, and naturally, in this state, then people cannot uh, feel the love of God. When we cannot feel the love of God. Um, in our hearts, in our minds, it feels almost as though we don't know where we ought to be looking so that we can find that love of God. When we have that kind of experience in our hearts, then we need to evaluate ourselves. Often it is because in our hearts there are idols. Of course, we know that idols can take many different forms. But the point we need to see is that if we do not remove and cast out these idols, then we cannot uh, experience the love of God. Today is the same for us who believe in Jesus. Um, meaning that today uh, we, we may find that our hearts and minds are actually inclined towards the things of the world. Because we have not fully committed ourselves to our love of God. Even though God continually loves us. Yet we are still without any sense of this feeling from God. In fact, even until now, God still very much loves us. But the question is, are we able to experience it or not? When we cannot experience the love of God, then we can only really blame ourselves. Because oftentimes it is the case that, it, that there are idols in our hearts. So we go to God's face and we say, we say, we say, what we need to do is to uh, truly and sincerely come before God and open up our hearts before Him. To pray and ask God to completely remove all the idols that are in our hearts. We know, for example, that pride is a, a type of idol we can find. Why? Because we have not truly seen God as our Lord. And when, whatever decisions we are looking to make, then we consider ourselves the most important decision maker. Now, naturally, when we have such a mindset, then we are not able to see the instruction of God, the path that God wants us to walk upon. Uh, and of course, if we are in such a state of mind, then we cannot feel the love of God at all. Now, coming again to Deuteronomy chapter 7. Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 13. 
他必爱你,赐福于你,使你人数增多,也必在他向你列做起世,应许给你的地上赐福于你,山所生的,地所产的,并你的五谷生走和油,以及五牛毒,高羊。Verse 13, and he will love you and bless you and multiply you. He will also bless the fruit of your womb and the fruit of your land, your grain, your new wine, your oil, the increase of your cattle and the offspring of your flock in the land of which he swore to your fathers to give you. This talks about God's love for his people. But there is a condition attached. The, pe- the people, be- uh, the people must actually uh, follow in the commandments and instructions that they have been given. When his people do according to his teachings and commandments, then God will bless his people. Then the people would be able to experience for themselves the love of God. It's like sometimes when we speak to our children. Uh, if you are a good child, then I will reward you. Uh, I will buy you such and such present. Uh, and you can say that actually God's relationship with us is the same. Uh, God is our Heavenly Father and naturally um, He would want to give us the best that He can give. Obviously He wants to give us blessings. We We wouldn't say that God is our Heavenly Father but we can't expect blessings rather we can just expect punishment from Him. But often we are not able to receive the love of God not able to receive these blessings of God. Then the question we have to ask is, have I obeyed the instruction of the Lord? Uh, we often say that uh, everybody loves obedient children. When we see um, obedient children, we very naturally want to draw close to them, we want to embrace them for their goodness. And in fact, God's relationship with us is the same. Sometimes we can't experience these blessings. Or in our lives we may observe and say, well, it's like God has never given me any of these blessings. In fact, the most important reason for the lack of these things is because we did not listen to his instructions. In fact, when we read Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 12, we see that this is the case. That God calls upon his people to keep the uh, the, the judgments and the commandments. Uh, because this God is a God who bestows uh, mercy upon people. Uh, Being gracious and merciful, he will in turn bestow blessings and uh, this love towards his people. Now from the New Testament perspective, Uh, we know that uh, according to scripture, that God has already bestowed upon, upon us every uh, every blessing in the heavenly places. And let's turn to Ephesians. Ephesians chapter 1. Ephesians chapter 1. Verse 3. Verse 3. Ephesians chapter 1 verse 3 uh, 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 saying that uh, he's blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places in Christ so where's the, the condition of getting these things it says in Christ 
，在耶穌入邊著個當然啊，對我哋啊信主嘅人嚟講，就係先受洗啦。Um, to be in Christ, we understand, as those who believe in Jesus, that it means that after the point of baptism, we need to be baptized first. Having been baptized, then we need to preserve ourselves within Jesus Christ. To not depart from Jesus Christ. And then,、uh, as, as per Ephesians, we see that in this way,、uh, every spiritual blessing will be bestowed upon us. Now, when we then refer this back to Deuteronomy, we can understand that this is in reference to the love of God towards us. But if we depart from God, then there's nothing really you can say. For us to receive the blessings of God, then we need to enter. We need to return. Back into Christ. So we, every person, need to continue to maintain our faith in Jesus Christ. Meaning that each and every one of us needs to do our utmost to remain within Jesus Christ. So our responsibility is to bring our family and friends into Jesus Christ. Our responsibility is to bring our responsibility is to bring only ourselves, our family members, our entire uh, uh, brothers and sisters back into the into Christ. In fact, we we find that this can be a very difficult matter. But God has already set this in place to say that in order to receive every spiritual blessing, we need to be within Him. So we need to ask God to help us. Therefore, we need to ask God to help us. To give us that, that strength to be able to remain within Jesus Christ. We often say, we say we need to pray for our own family. Pray in the hope that they will be able to return back to Christ. Now this point is something that we need to grasp hold of clearly. Because the point being that if they are not within Christ, not within the Lord, then they cannot receive these. God has prepared many blessings for us, but we need to also fulfill our responsibility. We need to do according to the instructions of God. And then we will all be able to enjoy every spiritual blessing from heaven. So, in the Psalms, there is a, 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 some what there are some verses that say. Actually, God sometimes tells us that He is. Uh, that even God sometimes finds Himself in a difficult position. Ah, we take a look at one example. Let's、uh, consider an example. Ah, come, we take a look at this Psalm 81. Psalm 81. Ah, Psalm 81. Ah, Psalm 81. Psalm 81. Psalm 81. There is a, a reference. Ah, come, we look at this. Ah, we look at this. What is it? Ah, the first verse starts. Ah, let's start reading verse ten. Ah, come, this is talking about ah, God. Ah, God is the God who brought you out of Egypt. Now,、uh, God here refers to Himself as,、uh, of course, as the God who brought them out of the land of Egypt. Ah, come, God told you, told you, tell you. If you open your mouth, we will, we will definitely. God here actually says, "Open your mouth wide, and I will fill it." Open your mouth, I'll give it to you. This is God, like like little friends, I tell my mum, "I told her I'm hungry." Just like children, if they turn to their parents and say, "Mum, Dad, I'm hungry," you know, open your mouth, and I'm going to give you food. We see God is like that. In fact, this is how God treats us. 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 In fact, this is how God
God was saying to his people, open your mouth wide. Please, please open your mouths and I will give you something to eat. But they didn't want to care about what God said. Sometimes we are like this. God says, look, um, you, if you walk on this path, you will get blessings. And all the spiritual blessings I will give to you. But we don't listen to him. We pay him no heed. Then the result is we can't receive these things. But when we read these words, it seems almost laughable. But actually, we are just like as described. Here. Uh, for these things to happen in the Old Testament era, and we still see that even in the New Testament era, these things continue to happen, showing that in fact our hearts are very hardened. We are not. We do not look upon the importance of the words of God. So. Therefore, we cannot receive the blessings that God has prepared. Why? Because we are not willing to just open up our mouths. Therefore, we need to ask God to give us that heart to be willing to listen to His words. Sometimes when we speak to our children, we say, What's difficult about what I'm asking you to do? I asked you just to do this thing, and you say you can't do it. Why? But the children, for whatever reason, they don't want to do it. In fact, oftentimes we are just like these very children. God says these things to teach us, but we just we don't take it on board. We have many different reasons that we give. And then in the end, we just conclude by saying, Oh, therefore I will not do it. So, based on what 81 says, it's like saying, Well, I'm not going to open my mouth, I'm not going to eat the things you want to give me. Uh, th- then who's going to be the one that goes hungry? Of course, it's us because we are the ones who are not eating. One day of no eating, probably not a big deal, but 10 days later, there's going to be a major issue here. Now, if we often treat our God in this way, then in the end, we will starve to death. So what we need to do is change our attitude. Then we can really know how great the love of God is. If every day we eat and we are satisfied, then surely we are able to experience the love of God for us. Now why is it today we cannot experience it? Because we're not willing to open our mouths. May the Lord help us. Let's sing him. 127.
be seated. Uh, now we're going to have our concluding prayer. In our prayers, we give thanks to God. And we pray to prepare our hearts to attend the Sabbath worship tomorrow. That through the further services, we are able to receive edification. Let's pray together.